This is the Mental Health Awareness Month and we are talking about how to keep stress away. Tell me what do you think is the opposite of stress? People will say happiness, joy, feeling of calm, feeling relaxed, feeling affectionate. What if I tell you there's one act that can attain all these emotions? It's the act of kindness. That's why the opposite of stress is actually kindness. The research behind kindness is phenomenal. So I think our ancestors and our elders were brilliant when they said, please be kind. Now kindness and compassion are so contagious. Now what's the first step of being kind? Of course, we're going to be kind with the world, but we also want to be kind with ourselves. So next time you look at yourself in the mirror or passing by, give a big smile. I'm going to talk about top three amazing experiments that scientists have done to prove to you how powerful kindness is. Now let's talk about smiling. How contagious is a smile? Scientists took people and positioned them in front of computer screens and they were looking at a person who was smiling. Now the scientists asked the people to not smile and only frown. So of course all the people started to frown. But here's the catch. They were all wired up with devices that measure muscle activation. So even though the people thought that they were frowning, the devices caught up with micro smiles. This is thanks to the mirror neuron system in the brain that works faster than the conscious mind can overrule. So next time you flash a smile at someone and he or she does not smile back, don't worry. They are just smiling within. They just did not know it. Now kindness is not just so contagious. It's also brilliant for our health. Did you know that kindness actually reduces inflammation? Now for the second experiment, scientists took people with chronic body aches and took them for a kindness, compassion boot camp. All they did all day long was meditate about being kind, about being compassionate and then they also partaked in random acts of kindness and being compassionate. After eight weeks, their body aches disappeared because you see there were no negative thoughts in their mind all their mental blocks had disappeared. And now for the third experiment on kindness. This is going to be very fascinating for the people who are trapped in the world of Botox and fillers. Did you know that kindness actually stops the aging process? What? <laughs> yes. So scientists researched aging and they realized that the culprit is free radicals. So they took the kindness hormone, which is oxytocin, right? Random acts of kindness, lots of love, hugs and kisses. And when you share affectionate words, you can produce oxytocin. So they took the kindness hormone and they injected it into skin cells. Voila! They realized that the skin was shining much more. People were much more radiant and much more happy. Now, we cannot inject the kindness hormone into our skin cells, right? Only scientists can do that. We cannot make it into a smoothie. We cannot mix it into our lunch. The only way to inject it into our skin cells, into our heart, body, mind and soul is through random acts of kindness. Because kindness is not just brilliant for the world. It just immediately has a chain reaction and it can bring about peace in your home, in your office space, in your living environment, most importantly, in your body, mind and soul. So for mental health awareness, my top tip is being kind to yourself and then let the cup overflow and share it with others.